two highest breaks of the match, 71 and 105 to level up at 4-4. The winner plays Dave Gilbert in the quarterfinals tomorrow. Great pot. Wow. Terrific pot. And it's easy to see who's got the confidence at the moment. Neil Robertson did have a chance to win 5-2. Knocked in a similar type of shot to that into the opposite corner. It broke down. Yeah, that red that he's knocked in, Alan, just underlines how good he's feeling, how well he's playing now. But as I say, the crucial thing, I think, for him is even when he wasn't playing well earlier, he was still going for those. It might not have been going in, but he stayed positive. Neil Robertson will be pleased he didn't go into the pack of reds there. Chance to play for the loose one. Will he get another chance to open them? Still another red goes. And he can get to that red now. And if he can leave it short so that he can open the reds up. I want to finish two straight on this red and that's round about just where he wants to be. He can open reds up off this red, try and stay on the black. I played it with top spin rather than screw. I thought he might open the reds up a little bit more with a bit of stun on the cue ball screw. Space with a tough one here now. Good pot, and he's on the red. Not ideally, but he's on it. Third. Not this time. Not so half Third. chance falls to Robertson. to Bork and just made it now does he play for that loose red or try and split them it's got the angle on the yellow or the brown brown much tougher a pot Him to miss the yellow. I've been sat out of the game for the last two games. He is a little cold and hasn't come far enough down the table to be able to open the reds up. So, this is a red that goes somewhere, a plant. He did well to open the reds from there. Ball. No, he can't quite see that red to the middle. He could play the double 
wouldn't leave anything. <coughs> pink may be in the way. Unfortunately, the red stayed down that end of the table, catching the jaws. Otherwise, it would have been an easy safety for Neil Robertson, as it is. He's going to think about what he's going to do here. This isn't straightforward. No, well, he's, he's suddenly on the back foot. I mean, he, at 4-2, really, he looked the only winner because Alan was struggling with his game. But here we are in the decider. Robertson 33 behind and Alan looking, I guess, for one more chance to win it. Two reds to the middle. Wouldn't leave anything that the red is playing on. Doesn't like it. Neither the reds are easy, so decide to play the safety. That's a great pot. And like I said, he wasn't leaving anything, but this is a, a chance to win. What a good pot that was. Yeah, and he could have left that red on if he'd have caught the knuckle. So it was a brave shot, really. But it's just a transformation, really, for Alan in his game, last three frames. does win I think Robertson will find this tough to right. take because he was in control and of course he's looking for a good run in a ranking event It's all going to be on this shot, you would think. If it lands on a red here. And he has done. 17. 50 points, the lead. Some turn around this. He's done it in style though, the two big breaks. He's had 7105. But I did say at 4 2 that if he wins, then his attitude has been a huge part of that. 
So much has gone wrong in the match for him, but he stayed positive. Oh, Ooh, the red wriggles in. I thought he'd miss that. Well, just needs the blue, and it's snooker's required. A really great recovery, this, from Alan. He saved his best for last. Really good last three frames he's played. But as I say, huge disappointment for Neil Robertson. 32. <coughs> 39. So all the pressure oh. lifting now, he can just enjoy these few moments. But that man will not be enjoying it. 4 2, had a chance. Looked a good chance, but it went wrong. And Mark Allen has hit back in style. 46. over you can't miss <laughs> there's a lot of missing early on particularly pre-interval he did well for 2-2 that was a result actually could have been 4-0 down certainly 3-1 57 So Alan is going to win the match with the three biggest breaks in the match in the last three frames. 71, 105 and 75. A great finish from the Northern Irishman who keeps his bid to win the World Open for a third time on track here in Yushan. He was in all sorts of trouble trailing 4-2, but he's found a way back into it. He's won the last three frames and he's beaten Neil Robertson 5-4.